Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a step chart in Excel. Um, first, let's get started by kind of understanding what's the difference between a line chart and a step chart. A line chart is a single point at a single point in time. And when we connect those two points, we get a slope or a trend line, depending on whether it's gone up, stayed the same, or gone, gone down. A step chart, you can think about that being two points at a single period of time which creates a step so think about that going from bottom to top a lower point to a higher point so take a look at the two tables in the top left you can see that our line chart is using the first table and we have a single value at a single point in time single value at a single point in time. Our step chart has two values of varying degrees at a single point in time. We can see that on the uh, 21st of January we have a thousand and at the 21st of January we have 1500 and then on the 22nd of January we have 1500 and 2000. This creates a step. Now of course, not all our data is going to be, you know, structured that way, but I'm going to show you how to quickly recreate your data so you can have a step chart. So here we go. We have a table here. Now we have dates and we have views. This is a pretty high number because I want to show you sometime you have to change the axis to get the step look you're looking for. So the first thing we want to do is create a second table. So I'm just going to copy over the headings from this table. So I want the date and the views. This data is uh, digital marketing, so it's the views on the website. Now here's a trick. You need to skip the first line and go to the second line. Now what we want to do is we want to get the date, the second date, and we want to get the first value. Okay. And then we want to copy that down until we fulfill that data. We have our point, one point or one value at a single point in time. Now we need to get two points at a single point in time. And all we have to do to do that is copy our original data under our second table and now you can see that we've copied it and now we can visualize it simply by inserting a line graph and now you can already see that step look but it's not giving us you know the dramatic look that what we're looking for so let's change the axis so double click your ax axis and go to format and you can see that you'll have your options here on the right. And all I want to do is change my axis so it's a little bit closer. So I'm going to change it to nearer to 1 million because that's where my data starts. Oops, and E6 for 1 million. And now you have your step value. So that's an easy way you can create a step chart in Excel. Thank you.